Hello, and welcome to Let's Talk Midlife Crisis with your hosts, Ashley and Tracy. Pull up a chair for your seat at the table as we talk about seven wellness pillars for your best menopause. Ooh, okay. I know. Um, I think this is very exciting and um, hopefully helpful to some, but, and I think that when we talk about menopause, it it all seems to circle back to the same, uh, you know, kind of remedies and symptoms and remedies and things like that. But um, I definitely think that there's some things here um, that these are, you know, pillars. Yeah, absolutely. And I, you know, I honestly feel like these are probably all things that we should really focus on throughout our lives, regardless of what stage you're in. Um, And obviously, you know, we all know one of them is going to be exercise. And I was thinking about that. And nutrition. Yeah. Yeah. And I was thinking about, you know, when I was younger, I was so much better at getting to the gym and eating healthier and staying on track with all that. But I had so much more energy and it just, it seemed so easy to do it all. And, and I had young kids, like now it's like, what's my excuse? I don't even have young kids to take care of anymore, but it's just finding the energy and the motivation truly. So, and I I think doing these things will give you that motivation and energy. It's just a matter of getting started and staying consistent with it. Yes. A hundred percent. That's my problem is staying consistent. Exactly. And getting the motivation to even... Start. Yeah, yeah, to do it. It's like, <laughs> exactly. It's not funny, but it's true. It's true. Do what I say, not what I do. Right? <laughs> right. Like, oh my gosh, I'm the worst. <laughs> me too. Me too. Uh, yeah, so number one, of course, nutrition and hydration. Mm-hmm. Um, it says to eat the rainbow. I know, that's interesting. Which I know you are you don't like vegetables, Mm-mm. so that's hard for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love them. I know. My grandkids are asking me. Recently, um, no, no, what vegetables do you like? And, and like corn. <laughs> <laughs> so one that, that does absolutely nothing for you. <laughs> yeah, and they were naming other vegetables. I'm like, nope. And I said, the only one I like is yellow. And they both just looked at me and I was like, Aww. it's really just corn guys. And they were just trying to eat healthier. Right. So it's funny. Right. And then they come to my house. It's like, Nana has no healthy food. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, some things are good and healthy and homemade, but, Mm -hmm. you know, I don't do the vegetable thing. I don't. Um, I do take a lot of supplements, though, Mm -hmm. that help provide those types of things. Those nutrients. And I'm sure I can't be the only person out there that doesn't eat vegetables. I think there's a lot of people that don't like them. Um, I think it's just a matter of trying new things. Um, and finding ways to prepare them if you yeah. don't like raw vegetables yeah. or you don't like, you know, yeah. there's different ways to prepare them. Um, yeah, my grandma, oh, bless her heart, bless her, rest her soul. She used to make um, this broccoli casserole type of thing, but it had Velveeta cheese in there oh. and um, like cracker crumbs, all kinds of stuff. But she would make it specifically for me because she knew I liked it and that I that didn't like anything else. That was the only else. way you were going to eat broccoli. <laughs> I was such a picky eater. I still am a picky eater. And I think because I've been healthy, knock on wood, uh-huh. um, and I haven't had any issues with my weight. Mm-hmm. So nutrition never had to be top of mind. Right. Never had to be top of mind. Yeah. I think I've told you before about my chocolate late at night right. situation. Last night I woke up. I thought I hadn't fallen asleep yet. It was one of those. But I, I apparently I woke up. It was like midnight and I went to bed at like nine. So I must have fallen asleep. And I went to the refrigerator. I poured the glass of Dr. Pepper. Oh, and I went gosh. in the freezer because it's Halloween was just a couple days ago. And I buy this kind of candy that I like. So I stuck a bunch of Reese's peanut butter cups oh, in the freezer. They're so good. And I ripped it open. And I was <laughs> like, I mean, you should have me on video. I was like, oh. And then chasing it down with soda. Who does that? And then I stumble back in the bedroom and crawl in bed and go back to sleep. So, well, you I are kind of a freak of nature. Right? You, don't, that, you nobody, never yeah. gain weight. Yeah. Ever. Well, I wouldn't say never. But you're right. I never had to worry about my weight. And right. I have the worst um, you know, eating habits. But I think one of the things that they're saying here is with healthy nutrition, um, 
there's a lot of gut health mm-hmm. that is related to that. And one of the things that helps with good gut health or nutrition is to sleep well. So yes. isn't that funny? That's yeah. right up there, like number two. It says yeah. it reduces stress, sleep well, of course, keeping hydrated, um, and chewing food well. Yeah, they say not to eat too fast. Mm-hmm. Because it can, have, and going back to vegetables too, you want to be careful about what vegetables you're eating because a lot of them can create gases in your gut, which yes. creates bloating and right. So you do want to be cautious of everybody. Everybody's body reacts Different. differently, yeah. obviously. But um, gut health is huge for me. I have really kind of always had issues off and on as far as bloating um, and discomfort and irregularity. Um, but I also think that a lot of it is stress related. Yes. Um, and you know, that was one of the things that said on there, keep your stress low to help your gut. Mm -hmm. Um, but I do think a lot of mine was stress related and, and I also, you know, as I've mentioned before, I'm allergic to a lot of things. So there's probably some food allergy in there (coughs) that, you know, I'm eating stuff, dairy tends to upset my stomach. Um, I'm allergic to bananas and avocados and, honeydew and cantaloupe, oh my gosh. but I eat them all still because I love them. So, and I don't <laughs> so, have a so what crazy happens? reaction. Okay, so okay, so okay, I get yeah. some of them, even like certain nuts, not all nuts. I, my gums will itch Ooh. and I will notice some inflammation, some bloating. Right, but in my you're gut. not swelling up and all no, of that stuff. No, it's never still... anything too crazy, but wow. clearly some kind of allergic reaction. Um, so the, yeah, those are things really to just be aware of, um, but gut health, I think, is huge because it affects so much. And yeah. and sometimes I think people don't realize how much it's affecting their mood or their mental state mm-hmm. when things aren't just right in your gut. Right. So, yeah, very true. Very true. And it also says to embrace fermented foods like pickled ginger, sauerkraut, apple cider vinegar, things like that. So mm. I think that that's kind of interesting. I love ginger Mm. flavored things i don't i don't really care for ginger itself um and i love i don't know if you've ever had kimchi but it's no but basically that's on the fermented list. Yeah. cabbage yeah oh yeah so good okay no i'm, I'm all cabbage <laughs> Ew. I'm, all like, I'm thinking brussels sprouts oh, gag gag i'm favorite. going back to my childhood <laughs> it's like that was the worst time for me was at the dinner table sitting there being so stubborn um and then of course water 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 um, it's funny. I drink more water in the winter than I do in the summertime. Really? When it's so hot here, you would think that you drink more water in mm-hmm. the summer, but in the winter, it's just the dryness. I think just, Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. I was just complaining last night at how dry my hands are right now. Yeah. It's yeah. Terrible. Okay. And then number two, number two on the list is movement, exercise, cardiovascular, Resistance, Resistance. Yeah. flexibility, balance. Um, balance I, is a good one. I'm finding myself unbalanced, quite honestly. <laughs> Seriously, since my bike, I haven't been back on the bike. I got to uh, get back up on the bike. Look, these are the yeah. jeans I wore when I crashed. I got a hole a in the knee. Hole. I had a skin to knee. It was hilarious. But since then, I feel a little, I can Off. feel it. Equilibrium. Yeah, like stepping okay. and making sure that my footing is that. Well, we were just talking to that? about allergies oh, and yeah. that can cause. Yeah your equilibrium to mm-hmm. if you have any inflammation in your sinus cavity your ear canal um that can cause that as well we we get terrible allergies here in arizona we do which is funny because you wouldn't think so but i think all of we're such a melting pot of mm-hmm. people coming here from other places and then they bring their shrubberies and their trees yeah, and things that yeah. they liked back wherever they're from and so now we have it used to be the place to move if you had allergies. Exactly. Now exactly. It's quite the opposite. Right. Um, but I think I've mentioned before, I I mean, when I was younger, I did a lot of different things as far as, you know, CrossFit, weight training, um, things like that. Um, and <coughs> now it's just too much for me. I can't, I can't really do that stuff anymore. Right. Um, but I do make, sh- make it a point every morning to stretch. So like I said, flexibility, I think that really helps with my arthritis, my tendonitis. And I just, I feel more limber and not so tense. Um, I try to before I even get out of bed, right? Like just 
mm-hmm. stretching your arms and your legs and down to your toes and just right. trying to do that before I even get out of bed, you know? Yeah. 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 I think that helps a lot. So it doesn't have to be an intense workout. Just, right. just move, 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 <laughs> move, move. And then of course, sleep is number three which we've talked about before, we're going to talk about again, because we have some products on order that we want to try right. and provide our feedback for you on. Um, there are square patches uh, that I see all over TikTok that supposedly you just put it on and you pass right out. So wow. if you've seen them, order them and give us your feedback. But we will be doing a separate episode on on sleep just on and sleep, yeah. on different products because we're sampling a bunch of different things and some of the things um, already that I've sampled I like but and always still for her Emily one of our guests mm-hmm. who has the CBD products and the THC um, menopause right gummies um, that have THC in them and some that don't and they have other ingredients. Those worked very well. Those did right. work very well. And she's always doing specials. So love to plug her. So, um, but sleep, of course, you know, it, it contributes to a lot of different things. You know, alertness. Oh, yeah. Everything Absolutely. that I suffer from, mm-hmm. which is funny because I feel like I sleep well. Um, a lack of a, alertness, loss of energy. Concentration. Brain fog. Mm-hmm. Like, it's so bad. Loss of libido. I always thought that was just an excuse. I'm too tired here. If you, you're never too tired. Um, forgetfulness. And what's scary, here's one, high blood pressure. Oh. Yeah, that's actually. That's interesting. Um, very scary. Um, depression. Yeah. I can I see, can that. see that. Um, irritability. Mm-hmm. Um, premature aging. They've always said that, right? Mm-hmm. Like, get enough sleep. Beauty and rest. Beauty drink, rest. Yes. Drink water. <laughs> um, oh, here's an interesting one. Increased likelihood of car accidents. Oh, absolutely. Maybe be, I know, but I it's actually not, know um, a few people who have gotten oh into accidents because they were dozing off at the wheel. Yeah, yeah, so, that's true. And like you said, your alertness, you know, it affects that. So you're exactly. not able to react as quickly as you normally would. But you're right. I actually guess um, I would believe that statistics show that being tired and sleeping at the wheel is one of the causes for many most of the accidents that happen automobile accidents right absolutely yeah yeah um let's see the next one appropriate supplementation Mm -hmm. so any supplements um and there's a lot out there and people have mixed reviews on this because it's not really regulated regulated by the fda like prescription drugs are Mm -hmm. um so there's a lot of different things you can take. If I mean, if you go into Sprouts and look at the vitamin section, it's just right. overwhelming. Right. right. <laughs> um, so or to try to Google something, yeah. If you Google it, there's oh just it's a plethora. It's of, too yeah. much. Yeah. yeah. So consult your doctor, friends, um, whoever you trust um, before you take anything. And, and if right. you take something and notice something is off, then that could be what's causing the problem. Right. Um, right. But I just take you know the basics, B12. Yep. Um, I do my multi. D2 plus K3. Yeah. There's a I women's 50 plus um, multi that I take that, yeah, has, that has all everything, of it. including probiotics and other mm-hmm. things, but it's all in one ginormous <laughs> pill, <laughs> but it's still. all in one. Exactly. Exactly. But I also think that you should sample things. And if something doesn't work for you, don't give up. Mm-hmm. Try something else. Well, because there's so many options. Sometimes the, the multivitamins don't have enough of something right. that you need more of. Right. So. Right. Yep. And oh, and then number five is mindfulness. Hmm. You know, what is mindfulness? Why is it good for us? Yeah, I'm ha- I've been having a hard time with that one lately. <laughs> it's hard for me to even concentrate, like we were talking about, um, just sitting long enough at my desk to yes. finish a task, let alone taking a moment to really be mindful and, you know, whatever, you know, whatever, a lot of people do different things. A lot of people like to meditate. Yes. Um, for some people, it might just be taking a five or 10 minute nap. Just True. close your eyes for a True. minute, you know, kind I've of I've never been one of those people that can do that. I need like a full on sleep, mm-hmm. but they say it's, you know, being fully present at the moment. Right. And I find it difficult to do that if I'm stressed about something because my mind is reeling mm-hmm. and I can't concentrate. Calm down, I can't yeah. be calm. I can't focus. Um, and it's not always easy just to press pause. Right. right? Yeah. I don't know. 
but it is um, number five and the pillars there. So, um, you know, take your mind off of autopilot, you know, per permit yourself to let go of all the stress, worry, information running around in your head, which is what I struggled with. Right. Like we just start it's like, I know it's easier said than done. Um, it's hard, yeah. but yeah, I think it is important to tr at least try to kind of do a reset so yeah. that you can go back to what you were doing. Um, and I have a hard time meditating. I don't do yoga. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to try it, but that's what that makes me think of. Right? right. And it's like, okay, well, if I did that, that would probably help, but, <laughs> and enjoying the Zen, you know, I don't know. Um, it's a bit something you can practice anywhere. Um, walking is good. Um, I, I still, again, I feel Just like I'm the worst. Break. Yeah. I feel like I'm the worst. I need to practice what I preach mm -hmm. now that our weather's cooled down. I don't have any excuses. I've got a hundred million things I want to do. Spring cleaning, clean out my dresser doors, you know, blah, 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 blah. Right. But I also need to get out there. I need to, yes. you know, even cleaning, cleaning my garage out. We just talked about that. It's such a mess that at least I'm getting the movement in. Right. Absolutely. Um, and you're, you're feeling productive. Right. You know? Yes. Yes. And get on that bicycle. It's perfect weather right now to oh. get on that bike. Um, I do think Finally, I we have good weather. <laughs> buy a helmet. Um, yes, right. please do. <laughs> please oh, do that. Yes. Um, number six, pillar number six mm. is, I love this one. Me too. My vitamin favorite. H. I've never heard of it. Before. I was like vitamin H. Yeah. I've never heard of this. Yeah. It's humor. It's actually humor. Yes. It's like the best medicine. Yes. I mean, that's what they say. Laughter is the best medicine. And it's true. Yes. You know, get with your friends. Watch a funny show. Oh, my gosh. What is the funniest show that we've watched recently? Oh, gosh. What's it called? The one with... Um, yes. Yes. Kristen Bell. Um, nobody Wants nobody This. Nobody Wants This. Oh. oh, my gosh. On Netflix. Number one favorite. Okay. New I, as you series. know, I am not a rom-com person. No. I'm not even really a comedy person. I right. don't. I don't watch sitcoms. I, none of that. I could not stop watching that show. Mm -hmm. I, would, I watched I was it twice. I have literally admit. laughing out yes. loud through every episode. Yes. It yes. is hilarious. It is hilarious. And that's, I think, the belly laugh and the laughing yes. out loud. And it doesn't matter who you are. I think it's attractive to all generations. Right. But especially for us, I think we can totally get into that. Um, so definitely. And just getting with your friends and talking yes. and laughing. And, yes. you know, I, I do. When I watched that show, I did kind of realize I don't really laugh enough. enough. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so me no, too. it's, I think it's true. It's the best medicine. It just makes you feel good. It does. It does. And what do they say? And, but exercise too, um, creates endorphins. Yes. Right. So I think that laughing as well. Oh, absolutely. Creates those endorphins that just make you feel good. I and agree. Make all yeah. the stress go away for, even if it's just a minute. So, yeah, you'll definitely have to check it out. Netflix, nobody wants this. Our number one recommendation series. I can't remember the last time I had a show make so engaging like that uh -huh. and just make me laugh out loud. Yeah, so. it's great. Yeah. Um, number seven, community. Community. <sighs> I love my community. I do, too. <laughs> I'm so lucky to have I the know. group that I have. I know. Me too. Me too. Um, but I do take it for, I don't, I don't want to say I take it for granted, but sometimes I do. Last night I didn't go. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't feeling it. Um, last night was a Friday. Generally speaking, we go out on Friday and do happy hours. Right. We had friends in town mm -hmm. that I missed last time they were in town and it, we were, I was going to leave at four and at two o'clock I was just like, I am not feeling it. Right. I just wasn't feeling it. So I bailed um, on my community and everybody had a great time. I'm okay that I didn't go, but I feel better when I go. I often have to force myself to do something because I know once I get there, I'm going to have a good time anyway. So, um, right. It makes it worth it. It makes you realize, okay, this is what I needed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's also okay to say no sometimes. It is. Sometimes it is. you just need to be home and sit on the couch. And go to bed early. And watch and... Nobody Wants This. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. We have to, you have to watch that show. If you haven't seen it, you must watch it. But, yeah, we're so lucky to have each other and our friends in the community. And um, we're going to be talking to somebody coming up soon 
um, that doesn't have a community that needs a community. Mm -hmm. So we're going to reach out to her. Mm -hmm. So we're going to reach out to her and wrap our arms around her and, you know, identify what she's going through Mm -hmm. and um, just be there for her just to listen. Sometimes I think that's really what it's about being heard, you know? Yeah. And I think just knowing that you have, you know, someone that you can talk to, um, someone that's not going to judge you Mm -hmm. or, you know, and, and it's, you know, you don't always need advice. Sometimes you just need a soundboard. Exactly. You know? So, exactly. and I feel like I have that with my community. Yeah. But I also do get great advice. So, right. right. Well, and sometimes your partner just doesn't understand and isn't right. in the same place as you or doesn't understand, or maybe at some point they did, but you know, that was last year. And by now they're kind I, of, yeah. And I think too, sometimes with your partner, you don't want them to to worry because right. I think as partners, you tend to kind of take on each other's problems or concerns right. or whatever it might be. And maybe it's something that you don't really, you know, want to share with them because you don't want them to worry. You just need right. someone to talk to and get some advice or vent to. Right. Um, but anyway, yeah. Community is, it's just like laughter. It's it is the best. It medicine. is. I think it's the second <laughs> best medicine. So what are the, what are pillars that um, you are, you find most helpful let us know drop us uh, a note in any of our on any of our social channels and that just about wraps it up for today thank you for joining us on let's talk midlife crisis embrace the change join the conversation on our website at let's talk midlife crisis.com or our facebook or instagram and youtube channels we'd love to hear from you guys <laughs>